So we get to finally talk about one of the most interesting devices that have been coming out for the last couple of years, and these are the MetaQuest headsets. But last year, we did end up getting the successor to the MetaQuest 2, which was the MetaQuest 3. And I will tell you, from all the devices that I've owned, these types of VR headsets are very nice, and I like these ones a lot. And the reason for that is because they already have such a massive community behind them. They have such cool features, and I definitely do think for a mass-produced, you know, VR headset, it doesn't really get, like, that much crazier better than these ones. Clearly, you can go get the MetaQuest Pro, or you can buy the Apple Vision Pro and get a way better experience. But I will be honest, for an everyday type of, you know, for like a $500 VR headset that has so many games, so many things available for it, these are very nice. These are standalone headsets. And I will say there's advantages for the PlayStation VR headset and those ones. But I do like the fact that this is its own standalone machine. You don't have to go buy the headset and buy the console. This thing is an all-in-one. And it is actually pretty crazy the amount of stuff that you can buy with just the meta headset in, you know, in and of itself. Like the things you can, the experience you can get from this in and of itself. So we'll talk about that throughout this whole entire video, whether it's still worth buying in 2024. But if you do want to buy this headset, links will be down in the description. You can get them from there and you can help support the channel at the same time. Now, the big thing you have to remember with the MetaQuest you know, 3 is that this was the successor to the MetaQuest 2. And the biggest advantage and the biggest reason why, you know, Meta even made this, you know, device, I think they really wanted to make another device that was going to be a very, very big difference coming from its successor, they want, or the predecessor, they wanted to go and make sure that this particular console could hold the test of time for a much longer duration of time than the MetaQuest 2. The MetaQuest 2 was very good, I liked that you know, headset a lot, and that, I would say, really put a lot of VR headsets on the map. My first VR headset I ever owned was the MetaQuest 2. Although I'm in the tech space and I know technology kind of a little bit, I wasn't even really into tech, or I wasn't into the VR headsets until I saw the MetaQuest 2 when I tried it out, and I, ne I didn't even return it, I actually ended up keeping it because it was so cool to kind of mess with. I don't use it a ton anymore, but then when the MetaQuest 3 came out, this was another really cool thing and a really cool feature. I mean, it had a lot of cool visual differences from its successor, from its predecessor, which made it a really decent successor. Now on the outside, the big thing here going on with this particular console, at least on the front that you can kind of see, is that you are getting these cameras on the front side. So it is actually a very cool thing. Unlike the MetaQuest 2, you were getting cameras and sensors and stuff, but having this full dedicated front camera on this thing was actually very cool. And that was a very big visual difference coming from the MetaQuest 2. You can clearly see and look at both these headsets and see which one is which. This one definitely is the MetaQuest 2 or MetaQuest 3, depending on which one you're looking at it. And that is a very cool thing that they made these types of visual differences. The camera itself is pretty decent, but the really cool thing that I liked a lot about the MetaQuest 3 over the MetaQuest 2 was the fact that this was giving you full color pass through. Now, what does this mean? Well, essentially, if you're going through and if you're using your MetaQuest headset, if you ever use the MetaQuest 2, you were getting this like kind of grayish, grainy type of experience if you're looking through the cameras. Like if you're trying to make your Guardian box or whatever, it'd always be kind of grainy. And I don't think it was like the biggest deal in the world or anything, but when you go through and get something with full color pass through, it is a significantly bigger difference. It is a much nicer experience, and this is a very, very cool thing going on for the MetaQuest 3, that you are getting that on this like sub $500 machine. So as I mentioned before, this in and of itself is another really, really nice thing going on for this particular device when it comes down to it. And this in and of itself is a very, very cool thing. Like I like this headset a lot, and that was another really nice thing going on for this particular headset when it comes down to it. On top of that, you're still getting a good feeling you know, device. It still feels pretty expensive. But the coolest thing is, is that you're actually getting a device that is 40% slimmer than the MetaQuest 2. So the MetaQuest 2, I guess one of my bigger downsides of this particular headset was the fact that it was so heavy and it was just so like, it was such an experience to kind of just mess around with, I will be honest. And it took a lot of time, you know, when you put it on your head, it can be a very heavy, you know, headset. That's just kind of what happens. And it makes sense because there's a whole computer and everything, a whole system built inside. But I felt like the weight wasn't dispersed as well. Like when I wear the Apple Vision Pro, it's not as terrible. Maybe it is actually as bad as not anything about it. The MetaQuest 3, it's a little bit of a different story. The MetaQuest 3 is a significantly better, you know, weighted console. And I really like that a lot because it is 40% slimmer. It doesn't feel like you're just like leaning your head forward all day. Like it's not like this huge heavy thing you have to have inside of your, you know, on, on your face. It's actually way more reasonable. And I think that's a very nice thing going on for this particular device as well. And I think this in and of itself is another super, super cool thing going on for the MetaQuest 3. 
So it's smaller, it's slimmer, it still has basically the same type of exterior and features as you would have had on a Meta Quest 2. So you're not really getting like big massive differences from that perspective, which again is a very, very nice thing. Now on top of that, this device internally is giving you some really cool things. So within the eyes, you know, the screens that it basically has, it's giving you 4K infinity displays. So it's very cool. As soon as you put these things on and you look through them, it looks like you're just, you know, you've probably seen VR headsets or simulations of them. I mean, these things are just amazing. It's so cool. You can look around and see everything around you. It's a very, very nice, amazing, unique experience that you basically have to experience for yourself. Like if you've never had a VR headset, I would just recommend trying these things on. Go to a Best Buy, just like pick one up and just try it because it is actually very, very insane. The amount of experience that you can get from this type of device in and of itself. On top of that though, I mean, you can get 90 hertz or 120 hertz displays on these particular screens as well, which is another very nice thing going on for it too. And you have those controllers as well. Now I will say the controllers I like, I don't really normally go for the controllers and use the controllers. I'm mostly almost always using my hands. So you can use your gestures with your hands to go and use you know, these particular, you know, con the, the particular console. But one thing to keep in mind, if you're trying to go through and play certain games or whatever, you will basically have to basically, you know, have your particular controllers before those games. And these controllers are actually not that bad. I think they're actually better and more enhanced than the MetaQuest 2. So, and you don't have that wand going over the top of these particular controllers either. So that in and of itself is another kind of nice thing going on for this particular device when it comes down to it as well. So I like this particular headset from that perspective alone too, which is another very, very nice thing going on for this particular device when it comes down to it. So that's another really nice thing going on for this particular you know, headset. And as I mentioned before, the games that are available for it, the applications that are available for it, and the community behind this console and this you know, headset, it's amazing. I love being able to go and buy one of these types of headsets and these types of devices because there is just so much that you can do within it. And it is easily one of my most favorite things going on for this particular device when it comes down to it. The fact that you can actually just go through and use this type of headset and use these types of controllers and just play these games and everything around it, it really is just so amazing and so beautiful. And it is the most unique experience you could probably experience. So I would probably tell you, I think the MetaQuest headsets are probably some of the best headsets you could that you can buy. I mean, these are the ones that are probably going to be mass available everywhere in the majority of places that you're going to look for them. On top of that, with these headsets on the background, you can always just go and just pick them up and buy them. I mean, these are very, very good headsets that are available at Walmart and Best Buy and everywhere and Amazon, like I mentioned before. Is it perfect? No, but I do think there's a lot of good things going for it. And I definitely do think if you're going to go and buy some sort of a device, these are very good headsets that I'm a really, really big, massive fan of for sure. So from that perspective, I think that kind of covers it up here for the most part if you have any other thoughts or questions let me know in the comment section below hit the like button that will be so much but definitely hit that subscribe button more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then